Greetings Commanders, this is Commander Mekken, and today we're going to be talking about the new AX reactivation missions. Reactivation missions can be picked up pretty much anywhere on the edge of the Vargoid Maelstrom systems. Like, I picked mine one up here in this system called Dukrubech, and it sent me over to this Thargoid controlled system, HIP 25679. Um, they <clears throat> are... On the face, simple missions that ask you to reactivate the power, as the traditional missions do. Um, they do, however, will have a series of secondary objectives to be completed after the power is reactivated. And the most notable thing about these missions is that there are the new Fargo Revenant drones that are sitting around the target sediment itself. Those drones are particularly pesky, as they have a long-range laser beam, which is almost guaranteed to hit either your ship or SRV from over one kilometer away, and there's not much you can do to avoid and dodge it. The easy way to do these missions is to land your ship about 1.5 kilometers away, and then get on foot and walk your way to the settlement, do whatever it is you need to do in the settlement, restore power, grab stuff, and then walk your way back to the ship and get out of there. That's the easy way and the way that you can complete these missions most reliably. However, we're here, and obviously we don't like doing things the easy way, so today we're going to do something the hard way. The Mechan way. And that will involve essentially carpet bombing from space, our friends, uh, the Revenants, while they're there. As you can see, the ship sports five remote flak launchers for that purpose. Flak launchers work incredibly well in that regard, as they allow you to carpet bomb the submarine, not just uh, uh, from the start, but also if the uh, if it so happens that you aggro the Revenants, and those in turn take off and start flying towards you and moving at uh, um, above ground type of level, you would not be able to hit them with missiles at that point. Whereas you still can use the mantle trigger of flak to detonate the, um, the rounds at the appropriate level and consequently hit them from also from, uh, from a distance uh, above the ground. So, that's why we use flak instead of missiles, although missiles also do work and kind of work well for this overall particular strategy. It's not so simple, however. Let's say the, you have carpet bombed the um, revenants themselves, they, they will very, very quickly call in reinforcements. And they'll call reinforcements in uh, the shape of two type of reinforcements. They will call in a couple of interceptors, and I do mean a couple of interceptors, so you'll see uh, at least two interceptors showing up in this instance. And they will call in a scout that brings back additional revenants on a regular basis. Each scout carries five revenants, at least that's been my experience. Uh, which makes the idea of just carpet bombing and going in impractical, if not impossible, as as soon as the revenants are deployed to target your SRV and blow it up, if you brought an SRV, the interceptors will make short work of your landed ship, so you can't really leave a landed ship right there. So what we're going to do in this particular attempt is, we're going to go in, we're going to let them spawn, then we're going to carpet bomb the settlement, destroy the revenants, the first batch of revenants, then we're going to very, very quickly land the ship, get into our SRV, park our SRV out of sight under cover, get on foot, destroy the reinforcements, turn the power back on, and then, and then we'll see it. Most likely, there's going to be more revenants at that point worth destroying. And the good thing about having an SRV in the instance is we will be able to pick up the new materials that the revenants drop, in that which require an SRV to be picked up. These materials are called tactical chocor chips. And they're, as usual, weird and new, uh, as they're nominally grade 2 materials, as you can see here. However, they are only limited to 100 tops, whereas typical grade 2 materials have 250 as their storage amount. Why that is the case, I have no idea. That's what it is, and I, that's what we're going to make of it. Anyhow, we are almost about to drop, we're too steep, so our glide is going to fail, but we're very close, so it doesn't really matter. And here we are. Deploying a flak, keeping pips in engine, is that really what we need? Maybe put in. 115 weapons since I don't think we're gonna need more than that. Uh, there we go. Once you're closer than about one kilometer, they will spawn. I'm just making sure I got everything set up here. 
we have a maverick suit which is needed to access the power um, generator and settlement we have a rocket launcher the reason we have a rocket launcher is rockets one shot the uh the revenants even even the executioner even the plasma sniper needs two shots which aggros them which in turn makes them very difficult to fire so the weapon of choice against revenants is is a rocket launcher for that reason so we're here in any second we'll see them spawn which usually means they see the their scanning light which starts green very nice. one we missed that shot because we missed too early we got that shot as we can see from bounty and let's see if we can very quickly before they aggro take the other ones down i think we got that one there's two over there we got one it's another one down there we got that one definitely got that one and I see one more there and I think we got that one too landing gear down now climbing is of the essence we need to land very very quickly before the goids show up and before we end up shut down which we will so here we go down with the SRV and dismiss the ship as soon as we are able ideally before the shutdown field launches we need to park the SRV under cover as soon as possible, as the Revenants will show up very quickly. And when the Revenants show up, they will destroy this SRV in practically no time. So we got our ship out of there. We're moving our SRV to a hopefully secluded spot. And we're going on foot, hopefully. Nope, I missed it on foot. So I got shut down. So hopefully, we'll have enough time by the time we get reactivated to get undercover and survive this little accident that we have here. Had I been able to get out of the SRV and on foot before the shutdown fuel fired, it would have had no effect, as obviously you don't get shut down on foot. Um, and that's ideally what I would have wanted to do had I had a chance to be faster, but I wasn't. So, so far, we managed to get to a point where we're kind of still alive, the shields are reloaded, and I think I managed to get under cover at this point. So, here we are, we managed to get here and we managed to get out by this point revenants will certainly have been um, arrived as reinforcement remember to turn your shields on when you get on foot because they don't automatically turn on we have an energy case here but we don't really need it and i see the lights of revenants down there which means they have definitely landed um what i'm going to do now is i'm going to see if i can get the power reactivated before actually no that's too good of a shot to not fire it well i missed it but that one is also too good of a shot to not fire it, so there you go. I'm going to see if I can get the power reactivated before I try and gather any of these materials, because, uh, well, if these get aggroed on you, they become very, very difficult to, sh shot, to shoot down. I will also need access to ammo relatively soon, because the ammo of uh, rocket launchers, as you know, is very limited. Um... You do need that SRV that I have parked in the shadows uh, to gather the materials as they are considered uh, ship materials, they're not considered on foot materials, and consequently you need the SRV to be able to pick them up, which is what kind of makes this part. Otherwise, this would be very easy. I think we got them all. Now we're looking for the power center. Uh, there it is. I see your command. We're heading in to plop in our power generator. Hopefully there's ammo around here as well. To be stuck on ammo, I don't see any, so we'll take care of that later. This is nothing special. You kind of open the panel with your Maverick laser. You regenerate stored power. And you put the regular housing that the mission provides inside. And you use your great free access that the mission also provides to reactivate power, which is something that we've done now. While you're at it, you look at the good uh, any goods that might be worth picking up while the power is being restored. Building schematics and weapon schematics, which are nice. And I guess it's also nice. Then you recharge your suit as soon as power goes on, since it's already at half charge. And then we are going to go and see what secondary objective is requested. So, as you can see from the top right, they're asking me to go get data from the Habitat Data Port 1. That secondary objective varies a lot, and it's kind of semi-random. But now that we are able to enter buildings at our will, we have ability to get into cover much quicker than used to be the case beforehand. So the danger of these revenants has progressively gone down. Uh, and here we are. They haven't aggroed, so they're still 
like in the white. Uh, we do need to find ammo, some kind. I think this should be upstairs. If it's not down here, it should be in the corner up here. And, nope, it's not here. Oh, we'll find. We'll find some ammo, then we'll find the port, and then essentially the mission itself is complete. And then it becomes a matter of um, gathering materials if we want. Um, like, these turrets don't really do anything as usual. You can disable them, but again, it will not do anything. Unfortunately, you cannot get the tourists to fire on the Revens, which actually would be nice, but not gonna happen. Uh, let's see. I was not able to find ammo yet, even though I've been running around for a bit, and I am disabling this cancer. I'm not even required because I have great free access already, and it's legit. I see a data port, but it's not a heavy data port. It's just like a data port from the security settlement, which I might as well gather. Ooh. Something aggroed. I think they shot me through the window. That's interesting. Hello there. Um, but obviously, I don't think they're going to be able to shoot me through the window. And in the meanwhile, I can also see what else is here. To be picked up. The annoying thing of when they are aggroed is that they start becoming um, very jittery. And shooting them becomes very difficult, comparatively. But I finally found the ammo I was looking for. So we got that for us. We should have picked up that data as well. Probably look on like a terminal on where the habitat data port is, which un in, un in generally is going to be in a habitat. So we might go and see if we can make a way to a habitat. There should be one around here. The question is, we don't know from the get go which habitat it is. So like we are guessing without that actual information. Uh, okay, that's storage. There's a habit across the street there. We have shields. The remnants are there, though, so we got to be careful now. Let's see. Can stay stealthy enough to be able to make it across without being detected. I think we managed. Somehow. Yep, there we go. We're in. All right, now we got to find a data port. And there's a terminal, but I could point at it and see if there's one that's in, in the immediate, sort of obvious. Not here. Okay, let's see if it's here, otherwise we will use the terminal. Alright, we can find it. Let's use the terminal. So it's having a data portal one. So we use the terminal. We have access, so it will tell us everything we want to know. Facility. Habitat. Uh, where is it? Uh, habitat data port one. There you go. Now we have it linked, and we should be able to see it on the map. So, there it is. But it's on the other side. So we'll have to go around. And let's go around. The settlement is on fire. I probably should purge it, but I am in a rush, so I won't do that. Let's get that data. And after, there you go, trip to my records, download. Having downloaded that data, the mission is effectively complete. At this point, like normal people would just take their SRV and get out. However, I do want to see if I can pick up a tactical core chip or two. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to fight and destroy some of the Revens and see if I can use my SRV to quickly get those materials before I hightail it out of a settlement and get back to a place where I can safely recall my ship. All right, so we are now back in action on the outside. The revenants are somehow aggroed, or at least appear to be red. And I missed my shot. At least the first one. I didn't miss it. I did not miss the second one. Interestingly, they appear to be red, but they appear to be in a patrol pattern, so they are very easy to shoot down at this point in time. Two are down, there's two more right in front of me. One is there, which I missed. And here's the other one. As you can see, there's interceptors, that's a Medusa, uh, that are circling up up front. There we go. So those have been taken down. Now I need to remember where I parked my SRV. I think I parked it next to the storage side here. Um, and it's something that you have to be somewhat careful because, again, there's, or there it is, my SRV is there. But I'm gonna wait until the new um, the new uh, revenants are deployed, since I saw the frameshift anomaly indicator, which means that they're basically gonna be here 
any second. And uh, they do really make very short work of SRVs. Uh, and you have to be very careful because the SRVs are extremely fragile. I haven't spent or I haven't tried the rocket SRV. Uh, I've only done this in the Scarab. So it might be possible that um, the rocket SRV has somewhat more higher survivability. The Scarab, however, is extremely, extremely fragile. And constantly we have to be very careful about keeping it alive. All right. An interesting thing of this is... Ah, there you go. And I got stuck and the Revenant's already firing at me. This is exactly what I didn't want to happen. But I got impatient and constantly I got my SRV under fire. Now, we've moved out and we'll see if we can deal with them on foot. I have enough ammo, I believe. Oh, it's firing missile at me. Hopefully we're able to sort of like dodge them and get their attention and deal with them on foot. All right, they saw me and are firing at me. I think I got one. I missed the second one though. Firing their missiles at me again, but hopefully my SRV is alive. Is it alive? Yes, it's alive. Good. That's the important thing that we need to ensure at this point in time. As you can see, they're very jittery when with accurate. And maybe I should turn on my shields. That's also a very common thing to forget after you kind of exit your ship. I think I got another one. And I got that one too. But there's at least one more. Uh oh. Someone got my shields probably with their bombs. Yep. But thankfully, those bombs are somewhat easy to dodge. Now, the problem is I'm out of ammo again, so I have to reload and get in the open to do so. But thankfully, I managed to do so without taking too much damage. Let's see if we can finish those two off. The mission, as you can see, says get out of the settlement, but we really want to get those G2 materials that I've been showing you, so we will keep at it for a little bit longer. And we got more of these bombs right behind us. Now, these would be incredibly easier to shoot down had I not aggroed them in my SRV, which is like another sample by that, but such a bad idea. Again, we're taking damage. Unfortunately, the Maverick G5 suit has actually quite a good amount of resistance against the apparently energy type of weapon that these guys have. And consequently, you have a decent amount of survival. Ooh, the guy is right up of me. And the scout, as you can see, that scout is big. Like, and they're bombing me, but I managed to get one. So this is now kind of transforming into a bit of a fight of attrition. Let's see who kind of lasts longer. And the answer is them. So I want to get out of this fight of attrition and see if I can avoid having to sort of like constant fight constant reinforcement from these scouts. The good thing is the more scouts die, the more materials on the ground, and sort of more likely we are to find the great two materials that we were looking for. We have a good thing about these rockets is they have an extremely long range, so they will hit and destroy the enemies at like a very extended degree of range. Alright. Ooh, one is right, right ahead of me. You have to be very careful about being flanked, of course, because that would spell problems. Like... Alright, I think we got them all. At least for this round. Let's rearm, let's get back into the SRV, and let's see if we can drive around and get some of those materials. And then get out before we get blown up. And and doing both things at the same time is going to be particularly hard, but we'll try. In the SRV we go. Okay, let's see if a scanner shows us some tactical chips while we're on flat ground so we can actually see our right panel. Tactical core chip, there it is. It actually is right next to us, so that's great. So let's get our cargo scoop down. Let's see if we can actually navigate this. Some tank monster thing. All right, tactical core chip acquired. Let's see if there's another one, but I think that would be getting cocky at this point in time. So 
let's not get too cocky and let's actually get out of here at this point. We've gotten our one tactical core chip that we came in to get. Alright, now it's full speed out of here. With a lot of, like, activity on the scanner, as you can see. Which I also, like, see if I can find my way to a place where I can actually land. Which is not necessarily going to be the case in this gully, but we will see. I also, I'm kind of dreading my landing at this point, though, as I might be a little bit fast. And, oof, there you go. That was not exactly the most exciting landing I've ever done, but at least we've gotten some distance. And down there, it looks like there's enough flats that we should be able to haul our ship without it being blown, blown up or sort of like getting too much attention from the patrolling interceptors. Let's see if that is the case. I, I make the side play particularly say, ooh, something got rats and something actually got my attention, it seems. Might be the scout that's bringing additional reinforcements. Again, this is one of those situations where honestly safe is better than sorry, as like, like, we kind of completed the mission, we were just like, it's just a pity to just do what I'm doing right now, just get my SRE blown up for no reason while being sort of like still within range of enemy forces. Again, we're getting enough distance, I think, though, to be able to land the ship safely somewhere around here. Assuming there is a place that the ship finds to land, but rather down here. So, uh, as soon as we stop scooting by down here, and as soon as you're not appreciating my terrible SRV pilot skills, let's see if we can recall our ship. Recall. Ship recalled. And let's see where the nav indicator says that our ship is going to be. All right, see it on the radar, it looks somewhere around there. Hopefully it's not right at the settlement where it used to be, because that would not be good or healthy for our ship or us. Ship is under attack, obviously that's what happened. And the interceptors are destroying the ship. And the Revens are flying on our ship. Oh, wonderful. That ship is not going to last. That ship destroyed, that ship was destroyed. Okay, good. So that's like an example of like, do as I say, don't do as I do. Um, that ship would have survived if I had gone further away and I've asked it to land at a safer place. And that point would have been able to get our SRV back in place and uh, survive. In this case, we didn't because we were impatient and we got our ship to be recalled right on top of the enemy revenants and Interceptors, and it, the unsurprising and the short work rate. However, as you can see, and that was pretty far away already, it's something that you can absolutely and positively do and be recovered and get your ship to be recovered um, in instead of in a safe spot. So hopefully, anyway, you appreciated this uh, new approach to getting the mission done. I kind of wondering if there's a way I can complete this mission at this point now that my ship has been destroyed. The answer is probably not. Um, and consequently it'll be a mission fail, but it was fun, interesting, we picked up some tactical core chips that we get to keep anyway, so can't complain about that. Hope you enjoyed this, and you've learned something about these new missions. If I say, go to mankind, Commander Mechanab.